We have begun the quarantine and are isolating well. No interaction can occur with outsiders, for they are unclean and may carry the affliction. We have been informed of the effects of this disease. Your lungs will burn and heave for breath that you cannot take. Your eyes will grow bloodshot and weep salty tears. And your legs will judder and shake like St. Vetus's dance. So in an effort to fight this plague, we are harmed. We are well. We are safe. This means we now have more or less carte blanche to sit on the back porch in the sun, drinking bad beer and playing glory hammer loud and fast. The government wants me to do these things. We have, been, we have all been texted a special message saying that we should do these things and emailed several more by my friends in the Conservative Party. You may call it lunacy, you may call it sleeping with the enemy, but this is blue chip political journalism. Never mind this. What is this? What is this for? This is, in short, a video blog, or vlog, for the uh, more up to speed, detailing exactly what happens here in the trap domicile. You can keep an eye on our mental well-being and check up on us. This is not, despite what you may think, a cry for help. We will also be including one poem a day, specific to the subject of corona or quarantine, or to something we've seen that day. For example, today I have met, mainly been drinking cheap beer and watching Homes Under the Hammer. Seeing how people back in January were trying to flip two-bedroom semis in Rotherham for over £120,000. We will be laughing, certainly, when they come back off hiatus, sometime in July. And Dion Dublin has to host Homes Under the Hammer Revisited, where people are still buying homes at auction, but they're trading box sets of The Good Life and Dinner Ladies for a bungalow in Hampstead. Pick your houses carefully, for we are all going to be seeing a lot of them in the coming weeks. In the spirit of this, here is today's poem. It's called The BBC. The BBC seems to be a raft of cultural insanity with attics of trinkets all hoarded by biddies, and nowhere to go for your dose of dem titties. Admittedly, I prefer Channel 5, you see, full of programmes about women addicted to pee, and others with rather poor psychology. As Craig Charles gets done for drink driving again, I cry every time. Blessings of Bob and this house be upon you. We shall see you tomorrow.